he, uh, a game that really toed and, and froed to the end. What are your thoughts on that one, having come out with a, with a tie? Yeah, it's a funny one. It's a, you know, we've had a few, uh, three ties in eight games. I've, I've never never experienced anything like that, if I'm totally honest. I mean, it's, it's a game we were behind for a lot of the game. So, I mean, what we've done all season, we've shown we fight and we scrap hard and we did it exactly the same again tonight in the field. We, we clawed on into the game and got down to the last couple of balls and you thought, we might win this and then obviously we all felt I think for Sol at the end obviously a misfield went over the boundary so for the tie we'll take the point um, we were up for the game we put everything into the game we didn't play our best cricket uh, certainly with the bat and I think you know bowling wise two or three of the lads brought us back into that game to give us a chance. Certainly we'll talk about those bowlers in a little bit the tie though is almost similar to, to Lancashire and the, the backs were against the wall but, but fought back to, to get the point in the end is that really pleasing for you as a head coach? Every time you take a point from anything, you're sort of pleased, really. I mean, what I do know about this team, we've, we've had some change at the start of the season. Obviously, Dan not being here. Um, the team have got right behind Steve Mullaney. He's done a great job as captain. Uh, and we're fighting hard in our corner. You know, I think at the moment, we've, I think we're top of the league still, which is great. Uh, yeah, and we'll, you know, we, the way this tournament's set up, the games keep going thick and fast. You've got to stay on the front four. And we come, you know, to Lancashire's another game tomorrow, which will be a big game. We'll, you know, at home, we'll... We'll do our best to get two points from that one. Let's touch on, on the batting first. Joe Clark, again, exceptional form. How impressed have you, have you been with him this season? It's not just this season. Joe's been, he's played that sort of cricket really now for 18 months. Um, you know, he's got a beautiful tempo to his sw swing. Um, he's become consistent, very aggressive, very hard to bowl at. Uh, and, you know, he, lo he looks an absolute top flight player. He's good a player in 2020 as, as, as I think you'll see batting at the moment. Uh, and that's got us out of the blocks you know, on several occasions brilliantly. And, and today was no occasion. 21 of the first over is phenomenal start. And it's not often that the back end of the order is, is let to do a bit of work, but uh, Matt Carter and Jake Ball with, with vital runs at the end of the innings, which perhaps they wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily be used to doing. Well, without that sort of 30 at the end, we wouldn't have been competitive. So I think, you know, Jake, Jake did a great job. I think it's one of the first times he's batted in the last two or three years. So coming in and, and getting those sort of sort of 20 runs at the end was was fantastic and Matt just was stayed in there with him so that made us competitive you know made that sort of 138 it was it was it was defendable um, anything less than that I think if they get up to anything out of the power play you're really struggling so yeah it was a great effort and on the bowling then it was the spinners that really that, that did a lot of the damage let's talk about the more experienced ones in Matt Carter and Sam Patel first up how impressed were you again with, with them this evening they seem to keep producing well, they've been good. They've been good all season. I think Samit took a couple of games to get in. In the last sort of three or four games, he's been absolutely at the top of his game. Uh, as has Matt Carter. You know, Matt's, Matt's become a really important cog in our 2020 wheel, really. He's a very, very good player. Uh, so they did really well. And, you know, Jake Ball, let's not forget Jake Ball, who opened it up in some ways, bowled quick tonight on a, on a pitch that had pace in it and bounce. Uh, got a couple of key wickets. I mean, the wicket deploy was a, he came back, good bit of captaincy, I think, brought him back for that over, and he managed to get a wicket. And that just kept us in the game, really. So credit to all the bowlers for keeping us competitive and taking it down to the last ball. And the third spinner, Calvin Harrison, obviously a vital, vital cog in, in tonight's performance. How impressed were you with, with his performance at the back end, showing some metal? Well, Calvin's a cool customer, actually. You know, we've seen it in the field. We've seen him. He's taken to, to the game brilliantly with us. He's played in every game. Um, he's, he's, he's calm, under pressure. I think he showed it tonight. To bowl the, you know, to bowl the 18th and the 20th over the leg, he is is pretty harem scarum stuff so uh, yeah he bowled well because he hit his lengths and made it hard actually it was tough on Critchley as the in bat as soon as you're nine down you're not sure whether to stick or twist a bit uh, but Calvin did a great job and just finally you mentioned the games come thick and fast obviously another one tomorrow does that help really that the men momentum never stops I'm beating in six now and, and a chance to, to pick up more points tomorrow yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we're enjoying it. We, we've got a good team spirit going. We've had it all season. I think the, the lads have got a good vibe going. That They're enjoying their cricket. So we'll come in tomorrow, knowing that after that we get a few days, actually, which in this competition is a bit of a luxury, really. So really good. We had a great scrap with Lanks uh, up at Old Trafford. I expect exactly the same tomorrow. It'll be a tight game, I'm sure. Um, hopefully we play really well and we can come out on top.